As we move from the getting it stage to the using it stage, the role of the teacher changes from that more of a guide during the getting it stage to someone who challenges during the using it stage. A key feature of the using it stage is that the students are now able to and encouraged to use stretches of language. As we know that all of the intake stage involves review, practice, warm up, refresher, recycles, practice, we know that the practice during the using it stage must be more interesting. In fact, what we are trying to do is encourage much more interaction among students. In order to do so, we have to pique their curiosities and uh, encourage them to use higher levels of thinking. That would mean not necessarily Bloom's taxonomy vis-a-vis -vis synthesis, but certainly that of what we would call problem solving. This would be quite akin to a fairly new movement that we see in second language teaching methodology called task-based learning. And a characteristic of task-based learning is not only that it involves stretches of language would be considered more interesting and authentic, but also that it is more meaningful to students. More meaningful in the sense that the tasks that students are asked to do actually relate to their everyday lives, in particular, their lives outside of the classroom. When we look at how this phase of B-SLIM relates with other phases of B-SLIM, we want to note that it combines several types of input or giving it. In other words, in order to communicate, students would be using and applying their pronunciation, their vocabulary, their grammar, their knowledge of culture, the application of that knowledge of culture, learning strategies, and the other types of um, inputs as well. We want to be thinking about uh, this stage of um, Be Slim in terms of providing less support to students or of them becoming more independent users of the language. This means that we still want to be able to see pair and group activities. It's absolutely imperative. A good way to think about that in terms of structuring activities is to think about one-way or two-way gap activities. Finally, we could look more towards forms, which as you will recall is another type of input for um, uh, NB Slim. So forms such as giving self-introductions, doing interviews, uh, pre doing peer presentations, perhaps giving a weather report. All of these would integrate many types of uh, language knowledge. When giving a form, you always want to give your students criteria, a bit of a time limit, stress for them that balance between fluency and accuracy, and recognize that what we're trying to do is develop that automaticity in students. Automaticity in the sense that the students are not having to wait quite as long in their thinking or retrieval process. Of course, you want the activities as much as possible to be full of laughter because we're learning through language and people are revealing things about themselves and enjoying that sense of humor. Transfer becomes a major focus at this point in uh, the learning process. And transfer is something that uh, neuroscientists are still trying to understand. We know that it is very difficult for people to take learning from one context and directly apply it to another context. In other words, that transfer seems to be difficult. But we are, what we are trying to do here is to take the learning from one context. It could be a dialogue, it could be a skit, it could be something learned through a task and be able to apply it to a similar related context, but still different. Throughout this process, we must remember that we are dealing with a recursive relationship. In other words, learning in the Beeslin process is not linear, even though this model has been stretched out into a line. And to help us remember that, we're going to just put up a little recursive model or visual to remind us of that. 
And during that recursive process, we know that the learner is accessing, organizing, storing, retrieving, and revising what they know through this kind of a recursive process. And that recursivity may in fact go all the way back to a giving it stage. It means that a teacher might give a little sprint of information that could take 30 seconds just to clarify or provide additional information to a learner so that that learner can get something that they didn't fully understand in order to move forward, forward and engage in a task or a problem solving activity. Uh, throughout this process, as with other aspects of BSLIM, the teacher is playing two really important roles at all times. Checking for understanding and consistently pres providing precise, personal, positive feedback. As a review that will capture this uptake or using it stage, remember that it is review, that it takes time, that it is practice, that it should be structured for success, that it involves individual pair activities, that it should still be chunked into small steps, and that it always provides um, an environment of safety so that the students will uh, continue to want to express themselves.